Welcome back to Milkweeds and Roses. Hi everybody, don't you just love this time of year? I wish there was smell-o-vision. I love the new growth, the new life, waiting for those three robin eggs to hatch. Mama Robin hangs out here, perches on the top fence. I give her a wide berth so that she doesn't feel bothered. In the meantime, so much blooming here in my, what I call my damp north garden. Let's do a brief tour. Of course, this is eye popping. The tall version of Columbine called Songbird. This is Songbird Cardinal. I planted it three years ago and oh, she just shines. Tengutica, yellow pruning version of Clematis is growing. Now this Clematis, honestly, I can't remember the name of it. I'll know when she flowers, but it's nice to see the growth and she'll weave among the daylilies here. We have some nice plumonium, heaven scent, rabbit proof, love that. So is this garden here, lily of the valley, both white and pink. Now, understand that can be invasive, uh, but like I said, rabbit proof, and Gabe makes sure of that too, to try to keep the rabbits away. The lily of the valley works here because it's hemmed in by concrete and it's a short, isn't that pretty, the pink version? It's a short little area because otherwise it can run on you. I'm sorry, my Annabelle hydrangea is growing. Check out the wild ginger. I planted this two years ago. The flowers are found at the base of the plant. Here's a close up. They're really unusual, fuzzy on the outside. And again, rabbit proof, love that. Shadowland Seducer Hosta. This one I got from Proven Winners three years ago. She's a doer. My azalea that I put in the ground late fall is showing signs of growth, but I think I'm going to have to move her to more sun. There's just not enough here. My shrimps on the Barbie, Pulmonaria. Well, they also call it lungwort with the uh, spots on the leaves. Also rabbit proof. There's a little more heaven scent right there, also known as a uh, Jacob's Ladder. Check out my swamp azalea. She's leafing out. Uh, just a note here. Yes, every part of that plant is poisonous to humans. My dogs don't bother it, so I'm not as worried about that. Um, a random hosta that was left in here that's been here a long time. Likes that spot. This is my night owl, a climbing rose with open petals, open stamens. Again, pollinators love it. But never as much as Agastache, Blue Fortune, just covered in bees. And uh, my little solar fairy houses that I put in place here. I got those from Plow and Earth. I just uh, ordered them online. And right now, there is a vacancy sign up for my bug hotel, but soon there won't be. I get a lot of solitary bees nesting in that. But just a brief version of my damp north garden and how it's sitting here in early May. Oh, and check out the blooming Solidarity Rhododendron. I think she's going to like this spot. Thanks for joining me. I'll keep you updated. I hope you like and subscribe and let me know if you have questions. See you soon.